So I'd like to tell you about the two database courses that we offer. Uh, both are, are optional, and therefore, as, as Anna was saying, uh, I'd like to convince you that these are courses worth, worth taking. Uh, CS 348, Introduction to Database Management, 448, Database Systems. Uh, the uh, instructors for the course come from the, the database group, and uh, we have one of the larger database groups maybe in the world, certainly in Canada, and nine instructors, uh, potential instructors for here, and which one is instructing which term, um, it, it, it just depends. So why should you be interested in databases? Well, more and more businesses and, uh, and other enterprises are dependent on data. Uh, that, that, that is the core of computing. That's why you're computing is in order to, to deal with, with data. There, we need a principled and efficient way to manage this data, which includes querying uh, the data, getting precise uh, responses to things that we ask, being able to scale well in terms of the amount of data that's available to us and also <coughs> in the number of people that are dealing with the data. <coughs> Conflict-free access when multiple people are accessing the data simultaneously, and persistence in the presence of hardware and software failures because we want things to continue to operate. I mean, things like uh, uh, Google as, 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 a, as a huge database system that, that you know about, or Amazon, can't just sort of crash because two people want to order the same thing at the same time, or two people are looking for the same thing at the same time. So CS348 is about how to use a database. CS448 is about how databases are actually uh, constructed and how they, how they operate properly. Uh, that is, uh, how, do they, how do they work? Both courses focus on a specific kind of database, which is the, the, the most common one used in business and government applications, and that's the relational database systems. And CS348 is a prerequisite for 448. 348, the topics are, first of all, to introduce the relational data model. What is, what is it and, 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 and how is it used to represent data? And then to talk about querying and updating uh, database so that you, we teach you the, per, the language SQL, which is, uh, as it says here, the intergalactic database access language. This is the one that's used everywhere by by everybody. <clears throat> we also teach you about application program interfaces, so how can you, I get to a database from my C++ program or from my Java program and still uh, access data that is too big to fit in memory or has too many uh, people trying to use it simultaneously to try to run it just as a, as a small application program. <clears throat> we also talk in, the, in CS348 about designing a database. What makes a good database design? How do you put together the data in such a way that uh, we have uh, no redundancy in the data, or at least we understand the redundancy and can use it effectively? How do we incorporate data constraints? Because typically, uh, not just any old data is allowed in the database. We have constraints that say what is allowed where. <clears throat> How do we design a good relation? What makes it? Uh, one particular design better than another design? How do we have effective indexes for being able to access the data more efficiently? How do we define database views, which are ways that we can have different people look at the same data, from uh, we, seeing different subsets of the data in order to, for example, make it more convenient to access the data, or in order to protect the data so that only some people can see it and other people can't? CS 448, as I said, is talking now about how a database system actually works. How do you build a database system? Uh, we're interested here in query processing. How do we make, a, we have an SQL query and we have a particular database. How do we actually translate that high level SQL query into low level operations that can access the data in some efficient manner? Uh, we talk about query optimization because typically as SQL and many other database languages uh, uh, that, you, that you might come across for other specific applications, look at data, uh, specify the query descriptively, not don't say first do this, then do this, then do this, but rather say this is the sort of answer I'm looking for, this is precisely the answer that I'm looking for. So there are usually many different ways that you can implement that kind of a search and we want to see which is the best way to, to do it. Uh, it might depend on what else is going on in the system at the same time. We're interested in concurrency control and in failure recovery. There's something in databases called transactions, which is something to make sure that your operation against the database runs 
correctly, independently of all of the other operations that are going on at the same time. So how can we make that work? And how can we make that work possibly in the presence of failures? <clears throat> we'll be interested also in distributed and replicated databases because most database systems, in order to scale up, of course, have to run on multiple machines in multiple places. <clears throat> and then there'll be typically in 448 some current database research topics that are also being covered in the course, possibly data warehouses or data mining or some other aspect of databases. In both courses, they're, uh, they're assignment-based. In CS 348, you'll be given assignments to design a database, to implement applications that populate and that use that database. And most of the assignments use a DB2, which is a commercial, current commercial database system, one of the uh, three major commercial database systems in, in relational databases. CS 448 has a series of assignments that are based on the Postgres uh, system, which is an open source database management system. And the assignments are typically to add new functionality or to improve the functionality that's already in that database system. <clears throat> in summary, uh, there are databases as part of all of the software that you deal with. In CS348, we teach you to be a knowledgeable user of that databases. And in 448, it's really a systems course that we teach you how database systems are and can be implemented. If you like courses like CS350, CS354, then you'll probably like CS448 as well.